Hey, what's up all my Scorpios? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations. I am BJ Royal, okay? So today we are about to start your tarot reading, your general love reading. This is for anybody with Scorpio placement in their chart. Um, also, I like to tell people tarot card readings are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it does and you want a general, uh, I'm sorry, a personal reading for me, my information is down below, okay? So normally how I do this, I'll start off with uh, the cards and then I'll pull like out of my lyric box but this time i'm gonna get the lyrics out first for you and your person and then we'll pull out the tarot cards okay so let's see you all right so you have jacques you i feel like i should be your lover i should be your friend all those silly issues made up in your head money can pay for your time but it's not love and love cannot pay you, and love cannot pay for that shit that I bought you. Swear to God, I should be gone, leave you alone, because I'd rather be with you and your bullshit. Okay, Jacquees. All right, now, let's get one for how your lover feels, or the person in your love interest, or the person you think about. What do they feel? How do they feel? Oh, wow. Erica Badu, next lifetime. Now, what am I supposed to do when I want you in my world? But how can I want you for myself when I'm already someone's girl? I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Erica Badu, okay. I get this energy of somebody dealing with somebody before... And now they're tied up or somebody coming to you. But now you're in a situation. They're feeling like, man, I'd rather be with you, but you done already moved on. You may still have feelings, but at this point you're like, mm, what, what you say? I know I'm a lot. Uh, Erica Badu says, I know I'm a lot of woman, but not enough to divide the pie. Okay. So let's see what's going on, y'all. Okay. I love that energy. Or you got, you could have been dealing with somebody when they had somebody else. And now they don't have this person no more. And maybe they feel like now is their next lifetime. And I got chills off of that. Maybe now is their next lifetime. They've completed this cycle. And now they're ready to be with you and your bullshit. Who got the bullshit going on? We about to see. We are definitely about to see. So all my Scorpios, talk to me, talk to me. And it's funny because when I pre-shuffled this deck and I turned it upside down and just sat it there, the temperance was already on the bottom. But um, some of you guys may be uh, Scorpio Sagittarius Cuspers. But as some of you guys, I really feel like um, things have not been in balance. Maybe this relationship has been really rocky. Maybe a lot of back and forth. Maybe somebody you have a lot of history with. The three of bows, fulfillment. And I feel like some of you guys left this energy behind you. Because it's like you knew you wanted more. You knew you wanted something else. Um, and look, 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 look. The same two snakes, I just noticed this about the snake, but the same two snakes here in the temperance or dragons, they're right here on this person's. I, so that makes me feel like, although they really cared about your connection or you really cared about this connection, I still feel like somebody is like, okay, I have to make a choice and I have to choose what direction I want to go in. Even if that means leaving this connection in the past, leaving this behind. The devil in reverse came out, the guardian.
And I feel like this is like a temptation for some people, like constantly going back. Maybe this person was really attractive to you. What the three of swords, three of arrows in reverse, jealousy. Somebody got tired of getting their heart broken. Like I'm tired of dealing with you and your bullshit. <laughs> tired of it. All right, look, this Eight of Wands came out, the Eight of Bows, it says Hearthfire. It came out sideways. I really feel like this is a situation where a, a, a lot of people had an input. A lot of people um, had something to say about your connection. Or a lot of people knew that you guys were dealing with each other or a lot of people knew um your business and i feel like this wasn't really necessarily something that um you dealt with a lot being with this temperance in reverse i feel like that kind of took you off you felt like it was taking you guys off your path because it was so many people with their opinions um also, I feel like maybe you just learned something about a person all of a sudden and it changed your opinion about who they were. You got the Ace of Arrows, which is the Ace of Swords. The Breath of Life. Yeah, when that person got tired of, of dealing with some shit or, okay, your person either got tired of dealing with your shit and they moved forward. Or, yeah, and literally move forward onto a whole other relationship. Or somebody was still dibbling and dabbling, trying to have two connections. Uh, I don't know who this song is by, but in my mind, um, it's an old school song. So maybe I'll find it before I post this reading. But um, um, Trying to Love Too, it's like an old school song. Trying to Love Too, um, it's not easy to do. Because look, it's like, and that's, okay, I get it. So somebody was trying to start something else when they hadn't finished starting, uh, ending something before. So you have the um, two of swords, which is the two of arrows in reverse. It says injustice. It's like how they walked into this. They were, they were trying, they were trying in a sense to kind of, uh, handle everything trying to balance everything out but it kind of like just caught up with them they could no longer balance everything you have the page of arrows here in reverse the ring i get the sense of after a while somebody got tired of somebody not telling the truth not being honest and they just turned their back on them and went the other way then you have the lovers here in reverse, placing that under the devil in reverse. Again, I get this energy of letting something long term go or letting something that you have been dealing with, with the, for a while, something that really had your heart. It was like you were in deep. Ah, uh, the the pole star, the pole star is in reverse. It fell on top of the the lovers. I'm gonna put it right below it. Now this person or one of you guys feels lost, while the other one moved forward, the other one feels lost. Ah, uh, is this why the magician came out? Again, it's this idea of, I feel like somebody listening to somebody else, a manipulation tactic, somebody trying to make it seem like you're moving forward when actually you're still stuck in the same position. The seven of wands, which is the set, it says the seven of bows clearance. And it's like when somebody got out, they got out. Uh, oh. 
what is it? Um, oh gosh, what's that comedian's name? Um, was it Cedric the Entertainer when he was telling the joke in Kings of Comedy? And he was like, uh, not black people. When they break, they break, right? It was like when somebody had the opportunity to get out of there, they got out of there. Could have been you or your person. The Four of Cups, boredom. Can you see? And I get the sense of boredom came from this person constantly. They're not there right it was like you knew something but you couldn't put your finger on it like this person would get missing or they may give you a little bit and then they'll take it back and you got tired it was like a, a bunch of inconsistency i get that energy inconsistency ah the green man the emperor Ah, the wolf, king of stones, which is the king of pentacles. And I don't know, I mentioned king of comedy. Why? Maybe this person tells a lot of jokes. Maybe they think they are a funny guy or a funny girl. And this person now, it's like, I know what I've done. I know I did some fucked up shit, but... I'm, I'm calling out to you. It's like sometimes, like, I don't know if you hear their voice and, and they're not there, but you can feel their presence or something. Maybe they physically left something at your house and you see it and it reminds you of them or vice versa. Something they see reminds you, uh, reminds them of you. This emperor though. Mm. All right, so you have the six of stones in reverse exploitation, the death card in reverse, which is the journey, the three of cups in reverse, three of vessels, it says joy, and finally. The tower card in reverse. And I'm going to put that at the top. Somebody trying to avoid disaster, but they kind of fell right into it. And it's like, you know who broke that? Or you broke them. Or they broke you from something. But I feel like you broke them from doing certain shit. Because it's like, I'm not putting up with this. Like, you might do that shit with somebody else. But I'm not putting up with it. And how in the world can we be together? You're telling me you're changing? Maybe this person wasn't financially well off like you wanted them to be with the um, six of stones, which is the six of pentacles in reverse, exploitation. Maybe they were beggars. Or they you felt like they weren't working. They didn't deserve what they were getting. They weren't working for it. And they all the while they put on this front, like they're the king, I'm the emperor, right? Let's clarify all this shit. They acting up. Let's clarify for all my Scorpios. Clarify. Let's get the temperance card. Collaboration. Avenue Three of Pentacles.
It's almost like you guys couldn't work together no more. The temperance is 14. And the three of pentacles. If I put that together, that's eight. And no, I don't do that all the time. But just for some reason, it told me to add it up. But it's like you guys no longer work well together. It, it no longer blends anymore. So I felt like you guys decided to leave this situation. or And to work on something else. Work on yourselves or work on another relationship. Mm. Any of this energy could be vice versa, intertwined. Let's clarify the three of wands. But first, let's see. The five of cups. In reverse, damn that place sucks. It landed on the five of uh, the six of pentacles, exploitation. Yeah, I get this sense of a beggar. Somebody acting like they're broke or acting like they don't have it, and they do. Like the negative side of exploitation. The three of bows was clarified, with, which is the three of wands was clarified with the eight of wands. Quick communication gardens. I feel like if you guys were on and off, I feel like this last time, you one of you guys cut ties quick. It was like, nah, we ain't doing this. You're like, I'm not doing it. I can't like, and it was like, it was like kind of like, I want to say it was like kind of that situation where you felt like you had to tell them, but you had to tell them really fast or maybe you text them or it was, it was something that kind of indirect or maybe you had to tell them on the phone. I don't feel like it was in person though. Clarify the uh, devil card in reverse, the guardian in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse. <laughs> Support of compassion and intuitive feelings. I knew you won't shit. I mean, I tried, but I mean, I can't do this anymore. It's like you took away your heart. You took away your emotions. All right. So here, the eight of wands is clarified by the knight of pentacles messenger of slow and steady again i get this idea of financially unstable or not as stable as one of the other people would have hoped or they may have put on a front like they had it more than they actually had it they were all talk and no show the three of arrows jealousy is in reverse is clarified by the hangman i get an idea that this person they didn't want you to go anywhere while they were trying to sort out their shit. So they kind of left you on hold or you left them like that. Because they didn't want to let you go because they I had created this situation. And I also think that they didn't want to let you go because they knew what they had done. So they were trying to backtrack and kind of like, I feel like they were trying to clean up the blood. You see how the blood is, is, is backwards. So it's dripping backwards, upside down, right? I feel like they were trying to clean it up, but it was too late. With the hangman, you already done. With the ace of arrows, you have the seven of wands called perseverance. And it was like, it's like I get a, a sense of um, a rocket like blast off right like it was like once you got out of there you was out of there like mm -mm. two of arrows in reverse injustice clarify and this person they cannot make a decision about what they wanted to do ten of pentacles abundance uh, abundant legacy avenue It's like they probably felt like they could do more than just 
build with you. It's more than just the money. It was like they saw stability not in you, not only in you, but they also saw saw stability within you as a couple. Like this person may have felt like you would have had their back or if something would have happened, like you are a good, I'm not going to say backup person, but it's like when two people are in the same household and you're sharing finances, right? If I don't, what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. If I don't have it, I would hope that you would be able to pick it up, you know? And I feel like maybe they felt like you were at that level financially that they wanted another person to be at, but they were not there. I get this intimidating feeling. Page of arrows in reverse, clarify. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Messenger of Romance and Invitations. And I feel like this person did not know how to express their feelings whatsoever. They had no idea. They knew what they were feeling, but to express it was like, hell no. The... um. On the star card in reverse came out the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Starting Stable Avenue. Yes. Uh, so, so two things. I feel like your relationship didn't start off stable with this other person. Or this person don't feel like they're stable enough to maintain your relationship financially. Clarify the lovers. Lovers in reverse. Ah. The tower. Shit went down. That shit went all the way down. Fast. It's like gravity. Just. It's like when you got in your head. That this person is not being supportive. They're not being compassionate. And you knew in your heart. It's like the universe came through with this tower moment. Again, the tower is in reverse. But the universe came in and they were like, this shit going down. It's like they needed you to see something that you were not seeing. This could have revealed their finances. I see one of you guys being more stable than the other. I feel like it has a lot to do with the money. Why is it all about the money? But let's clarify the magician that's sideways. My confused magician. He don't know what he want to do. Let's see. Well, that's not, okay, here we go. The ten, uh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse fell on there. But this came out on top of the Five of Cups in reverse. It says Waiting Patiently Avenue. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, it had a lot to do with money. They were sad because it was like, I can't provide for this person, this relationship the way I want it. Clarify one more card for me for the, uh, it's like a, a series of unfortunate events with the lovers beside the tower and the wheel of fortune. That's both in reverse. not wanting to let this situation go, but it's like the universe made you let them go. Or something happens, like a series of unfortunate events, you guys could have had a falling out, then like something else happened, and it was just like, okay, I'm through. I'm done driving this boat, trying to, to catch up with this person and deal with this person. What's the Four of Cups boredom? What is this, the Four of Cups? death right above the other death card and that's that change like and i think it was your change in perception your change of not wanting to deal with the same shit anymore it was your it, it's like something just like lit a fire under your ass again like that that rocket energy like it's like once you left once you were gone you were gone and it was like no looking back One more for the Four of Cups. How does the death relate to that? So I'm going to take this for this 
this three of cups down here because it landed right on it. The star came out in reverse. You got tired of people giving out false hopes. Like this person probably gave out a lot of false hopes. Like, yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to do that. And look, the world came out in reverse. No, this is what we're not going to do. You're not going to block my blessings. I got so much thing. I have so many things that I need to do. Like I have priorities. I have goals that I'm trying to accomplish. I can't accomplish them with you. And that's why this person changed. That's why this person walked away. Because it's like you no longer fit in their grand scheme. Or they no longer fit in your grand scheme of life. Like the plans. Clarify the emperor. Okay. Quite a few cards came out. You have the hair font. I'm going to stick that on top of the emperor. It's like... Uh-oh, it's too late. I get a sense of them. Now they're trying to conjure up this relationship. Now they want to be with you. Now you want to tell me you love me. Now you want to be in my life. With the king of swords in reverse with the seven of wands. Yes, I feel like this person is being selfish. It says provider of logic and impartial judgment. This person is not thinking at all with their mind. They're probably thinking with their dick. But this person is not thinking. They're not thinking about what they did to cause this stagnation in your relationship. Now look, King of Cups in reverse on top of this King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, the this person feels bad about their level of maturity. Okay, I keep the maturity, but um, especially says since this card says provider of emotional support and maturity, um, but I, stability is what I wanted to say. This person is really not happy with their placement in life and their stability, which is why all of this shit started happening, which is why they probably dealt with somebody else or got into a relationship with, uh, with somebody else because it's like you had standards or the other person had standards and they let you go or vice versa. Like when you saw like these standards, standards, I got standards, period. Clarify this death card in reverse. Clarify the death card in reverse. You have the chariot. Yeah. And at this point, I feel like if somebody is moving on saying something is better than what the hell you had me dealing with. The eight of strength in reverse. Somebody is tired of running into the the same shit. And maybe you guys are, or somebody is running into the same type of situations. So maybe you need to figure out what you need to do to change. Running into the same things. But over here, the judgment card fell out in the king of pentacles. Provider of prosperity and power. Now, I feel like somebody has some regrets with the judgment in reverse pointing towards this hair font. This person has regrets. Oh, I should have took, I should have capitalized pinnacles. I should have capitalized off of the moment that I had because now I no longer have this moment. Now I got to bank to see you next lifetime. This person is willing to be with you and your bullshit and it just stopped. Like they, the, as the idea of them not being financially stable enough. So they still fucked around. That has nothing to do with nothing. Did you talk to me about this conversation? I feel like they didn't talk a lot with this judgment in reverse. 
Or maybe they were trying to tell you the whole time or the universe was trying to tell you the whole time, but you weren't listening. This is why this person is still stuck. Clarify this um, tower in reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Passion and Desire Gardens. It's like you could no longer get that spark back. You could no longer do it. It was like it was over. And that's why it's like, see you next lifetime. Because I can't, I can't continue to stay in this energy. All right. So let's get some um, the goddess oracle deck to kind of give you some advice or anything to say about the situation that you've gone through. Now I feel like some of y'all are saying, yeah, I know, I know you'd rather be with me, but shit, it's going to have to be next lifetime because I done moved the fuck on. I guess I see you next lifetime. No hard feelings. And maybe you're like, I feel like, yeah, somebody has gotten over this, right? Especially look at the bottom here. You have the seven of uh, pinnacles, which is um, seven of cups in reverse. Morning. Now we're going to get a card from the goddess oracle deck. Something that's some, a bit of advice or... Something you guys could, should focus on or need to know. For all my Scorpios. All my Scorpios. I get at least two, okay? What should my Scorpios be working on? Lakshmi, it says, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. All right. Ixchel, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. And maybe that's why this person is so drawn to you because, oh, uh, look, because at the bottom, look, you have Guinevere, true love. It says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Yes, because you've gone through all that, because of you being strong enough to let go or to move forward past the situation or the moment that you do become um strong enough it's like don't worry about it because your future is bright and i feel like the universe is going to send you true love i think the healing that you probably need to work on for some of you guys especially if you are not in a relationship is to heal yourself or heal the love within your relationship if you're in a relationship and you want to maintain that let's see and the last oracle I'm going to use is the Divination of the Ancients. Divination of the Ancients for my Scorpios. Give me something that they can work on, something they can focus on with this situation. All right. Fitting. Change. It's I Ching for change. And Tarot. Guidance. Change and guidance. I Ching and Tarot. Change and guidance. Look. And confirmation. Suit and start. Confirmation is at the bottom. And I feel like the change comes from Again, you recognizing your situation, recognizing where you are and recognizing that, hey, 
if I change this path, if I go down a different way, then I will eventually find my abundance, not just in money, but in emotions as well. And knowing when or what way to go. I think some of you guys may be stuck. You don't know which way to go. You feel like this has kind of blocked you from moving forward with the star being in reverse, but no, this sets you up for change. So let's see, I Ching change. It says, it may be difficult to embrace new beginnings, but it is the only way to move forward. You are being urged to turn things around and shake them up a little. Change is the key to bringing about new opportunities, but resisting change will block those opportunities and might create hurdles that hinder the flow. You may have to change yourself to make room for the new to enter, but as you do, you will find long dormant wisdom and knowledge emerging, creating one of the deepest transformations of all. You may also see the need to address those who could hold you back or bring you down. You can do this in a kind and loving way, but be assertive as you set your boundaries. The situation you are inquiring about will bring great change for the better. Time to change your ways. A deep and ancient knowledge is surfacing and changing the way you view yourself and the world. Allow someone else to change. And tarot. The tarot requests a life quest and receiving this card lets you know you are being called to your own quest. It's time to leave the comfort of your everyday life and do the unexpected. Don't play it safe. Instead, take up your sword and swashbucket onward, daring to explore every avenue. But don't be fooled along the way for appearances can be deceptive. Instead, trust in the guidance of the tarot, which will map possible pathways for your personal growth and insight and will point you towards your very own holy grail once armed with this information go seek adventure you will discover a you that you didn't imagine existed time to leave your comfort zone your life mission awaits you learn the ancient art of reading tarot cards consult a tarot expert for guidance an unexpected offer will be made and I feel like this could be a love offer. I do. Especially with Guinevere in the bottom of the day. For the um, the goddesses. Well, I mean, Scorpios, that's it. Right? That's simple as that. We're done here. Um, I'm going to put up your sex, love, and lies reading. As soon as I can. I got this uh, new little camcorder. And um, a bitch don't know how to work it. Okay? I'm having these technical difficulties. I got like 12, 13 readings. <laughs> One here that I can't get off, but um, so I said, Fuck it, I'm gonna do it on my phone, okay? I was like, My Scorpios will appreciate my bluntness, okay? Because I'm trying to get these on there, get these done, so y'all can see. But they're timeless readings, so whenever they get up there, you guys can still watch them, it's no time constraint. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Royal Revelations, for your reading. And again, my name is BJ Royal, and I hope to see you back, okay? All right, until next time, see you next lifetime. Thank <laughs> you.